So it suggests for black to spend a move. Now, there's this is uh, one choice, and uh, there's that there was actually so this one is better. And then you might think also when you're reviewing, you can keep it analysing, but also if you want to not see its suggestions, then press space to turn it off and just look at the board and think yourself. Should I block here? If I do block and black answers, then that was block and sente, that's quite nice. But if I block and black ignores, was it too slow for me to block? You can ask Leela Zero. Leela Zero says, block. And it's thinking, maybe black will tanuki over here. But then we've also got this promising. So both are possible. So let's get it back to the game. So using the arrow keys. And you can use left and right to go to the variations. You can see that happening. Also, if you make variations and you want to rearrange the tree, you can use shift left to move the variation left and right in trees. So if I do shift and left here, what was this variation has now become the main line and has become the graph of the main line. And if I go on to the variation, it's still in there. And instead of being the solid green line in the graph, it's this dotted green line. So variations that you're on show up as dotted. I will now do shift left and put this back. Actually, yeah, down down because I'm somewhere down the tree. It doesn't work. I have to go back to this first node, shift left, and now I've put the, the main game back. So, let's say, when I was playing this game, for example, I did think, which attack should I do? And I went for this one. Now here we have a decision point. Black played this simple extension. Um, now we could say, what do you think is best leader zero? It thinks attach is best at the moment, but actually maybe it's going to change its mind and think it should play here. And then we can say, well, we can try and work out what kind of ex development it expects. Now, in fact, uh, Sam, who's playing this, said that he did know this move, but because it's the, the modern move, he thought I'd know the variations more, so that's why he didn't play it. Um, so... That extends, white blocks, and then black played this diagonal move, which is a, locally speaking, is a Joseki move, but you can see Lila Zero really doesn't like it very much. Just So, you've just been told that, but then we need to try to think, well, why, why is that um, better? Can we, can we try to understand that in, in Go terms? Well, so looking on here, white's got these stones here. So white's trying to develop the left side. So the left side is quite valuable. What does it think might happen if black plays this? So you could do the, the mouse over. So you can do the mouse over and see if it looks fair. Well, look, playing that, you can play it out and kind of think, well, what does this look like realistic move from kick and black extend and then white defend? And then, this has made a cutting point here, it's saying black should just ignore that and extend on the side here, make that group, and white can then attack these stones. I'm just going to say, I just sacrifice, then like this, then black's already happy to make a nice group over here, black's at 57% if he plays this move to... So now if I go back, You could say, well, what if black, you know, if I was playing this, I might think, yeah, maybe I want to keep these stones. So you could play the to defend, or maybe you could play this one. But white will probably now, yeah, so it's checking extension, dual purpose move, you've got this wall extending from it whilst attacking black's now cramped two space extension. I don't have any words. From this, I am seeing that it thinks this left side is important, and it thinks black should play here. It totally gives up on those because it says, well, oh, these stones down here are weak, and I'm going to attack those now. Um, and it, for white, doesn't want to help them, although it looks at this attachment. Now, these kind of attachments are something you'll find Leader Zero likes a lot. These are these sort of AI-style attachments. Or, to me, but maybe a stronger player would think it was natural. Uh, take the, the black stones at the top 
in a big scale or if you want to save them it's going to be going to be in trouble so we can see kind of in this analysis again we've got this blue move the number one but we've got this promising one which is very similar which if we let it analyze longer might become the number one move and then over here we've got some other stuff but it's not so good but I mean it's considering it so it's not like it's terrible moves um, if it's got no circle you know you just play some random move in the middle you can say well happiness could for example jump here would be a good answer that's kind of a you know a way to judge if it says my move was minus one percent how bad is that if I play some random move in the middle it's this much you can also pass which is p so we can say well if I just pass in the middle of the game how bad am I now p3 so you can kind of say well if I lose one percent and a passing is 30%, then it's, you know, it's not really a big deal in the, the grand scheme of uh, things, unless you're trying to be a pro playing very, very good moves. So, let me pause this, because it's getting a bit hot, and go back. Okay, so this is just kind of showing you how you can use the, the interactive review. Um, we can also say, for example, when I was playing this game, I had a question. I, for example, so in this game, I was thinking I wanted to play this pincer on the top side. Um, I think there's some, one of Michael Redman's reviews of the AlphaGo games that I'd seen where this happens, and I thought it looked appropriate here as well. Um, but I was thinking, in the game, Oh, sorry, I, I did this block. Is this the game? Is this the game? Oh, yeah, sorry. So I, I didn't play it immediately. Now, this game was yeah, more than half a year ago. But I was thinking, yeah, my reading at the time, I think, was if I do this, black pushes, I would quite like to be able to cut. But then I thought, oh, if this happens, black needs to defend this cut, but he can do it in sente. If he harnays here and I blocks, then there's a whoopsie daisy tessigy and white just died, so that would be embarrassing. So, and I thought, well, I could back off, for example, at this point and not block the corner, but then that means that black gets to extend here and this is going to be alive, and even if I can do something nice on the outside, I felt it wasn't so good. So we can ask leader zero. What do you think of in which I just played the kind of old fashioned Jazeki? And it actually says, well, minus one, not terrible. But it prefers the move I was thinking of, or even more, this Hane on the outside, get black to answer, and then play three. So, let's see what happens if I play this one directly. Black will push. If white harnays, then it wants to cut. At the moment, it hasn't decided it's terrible. Let's have a look. So its instinct is just to defend the, with the cut here. So it thinks this one here is not so good for black. So was I? What did I misjudge the position? So it thinks black wouldn't play this Atari. What if black does? So it thinks white is gaining here, white's up to 64%. So what if black did play the move I was scared of? Now if I just pause it, you could see... Oops, a bit slow. The, as soon as it was... Initially the black... the Sorry, the block here was 70 something percent for white and it's absolutely nosedived down to 46. And you can see that the Last move, 7.2, means that it thinks this black move is, seven, is plus 7.2% better than what it was expecting before. So this is actually showing an example of, in this position, Leela Zero was only thinking black would play here, and then white would connect, and then blah blah blah. But actually, it didn't consider this move, but as soon as you show this move to it, it thinks, hang on a minute, that move is a lot better than I thought this position was for black, so Leela Zero, at 
this version of Leaves realised that if white does block, then yeah, now it can see this same shortage of liberties problem and white's going to get captured. Previous suggestions. Um, and the answer is, well, you can't really, um, unless you give it more playouts and then it finds that move. Um, so this is a, this is a, um, so let's just go forwards again. If black does play this move, oh, you can see now it did let's see, let's see it a bit. If you give it a long, long time, it will probably will become the top, um, but it might need on this computer, you know, age hours and hours. So it's seen that blocking is a catastrophe, so it thinks white should back off. It thinks black just extending would be too slow, it would sort of let white you know, capture the cutting stone, so it thinks black should keep on fighting. And I did consider that I could keep on fighting, but I basically got to reading about here and then I, I didn't. Um, so yeah, it thinks white could push to here, and now black can play this to link up in the corner. Um, but it's not like white's going to be able to capture the cutting stones and do anything to... so it's still going to be very complicated with chances to mess up for both players. So if we go back, we can think, well, so I wanted to play this move, but this block has a problem with all of these so, what it wants to play first is this Hane on the top first. I just if we let it run for a bit more. Uh, and there we go, it's out together about 2,000 playouts. This 2,000 will be able to find this kind of, uh, this level. Now, I did think about this in the game, but I thought, oh, maybe it would, like, I thought Black would answer, probably. And I worried it was a bit of a bad exchange to kind of help black on this side, but it does help white a lot to make this move work well. Carnes and black does the same thing. White cut. If we if black tries the same. Then here we can see that if black does this, he can't play Atari here anymore. So that's uh, no good. So if I go back, black can still play this one and come out here. But we can see it's suggesting white plays the squeeze. That's a nice squeeze, give black some bad shape. and some stuff happens here and white's up to 80%. So white's doing very nicely. You can see on the win rate graph, white's doing better than what happened in the game with this. So if I pause it, and I go back, then I think that'll do for just showing you how you can use it for reviewing in this kind of position. Um, so we've also got just the win rate graph I've shown before. You can just click to go to where was my big mistake. So that was a big mistake. This we were actually fighting a co, you can see down this corner. And after, basically, my co-threat was not a good enough co-threat, black connected the co, and black's win rate went up. And, yeah, my, my co-threat wasn't good enough, but I didn't have very much in the way of good co-threats. We can also see here... Let me move this down here, because this corner doesn't have much. We can try and find where the win changed towards the end of the game. So we go up and down. So down here looks quite good for white. Now actually, this game, you can see I've put comments in. These were comments made with a stronger version of Liga Zero. So you can see that 157 is not actually strong enough to realise that this move was the, the critical losing move of the game. Um, so what I will do is I will open this with a different network and just show you about changing networks. And let me close this.